The New York Times is reporting possible negotiations for a ceasefire in Gaza. The paper says U.S.-led negotiators are nearing a deal to suspend the fighting in exchange for the release of more than 100 hostages. National correspondent Stephanie Sandoval has more on the developments in the Middle East. President Joe Biden saying today America's heart is heavy, releasing a statement in response to the killing of three U.S. Army soldiers during an unmanned drone attack on troops stationed in Jordan near the Syria border, leaving more than 30 other service members injured. The Biden administration says the attack was carried out by Iran-backed militants operating in Syria and Iraq. The lethal attack coming on the heels of heightened tensions gripping the Middle East. And Iran saying it successfully launched three satellites into space for the first time, igniting fears amongst Western leaders that Iran is trying to expand its nuclear program. The goal is to uh, deter them, and we don't want to go down a path of greater escalation that uh, drives to a much broader conflict. With fears of heightening tensions boiling over, pushes toward peace are on the table. Protests have been popping off for days now, with people brandishing Israeli flags, blocking aid trucks from going into Gaza, and demanding hostages be set free. U.S. negotiators saying they're making progress on a pause in fighting for two months in exchange for the release of more than 100 hostages captured captured in the October 7th attacks on Israel. The deal would also allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza. As long as we have abductees in the Gaza Strip, we have no moral right to stop looking for the women, children, and soldiers who are there. We have to go all the way. Now, after several nations have suspended funding to the U.N. Relief Agency for Palestinian refugees, after a dozen of its employees were accused of being involved in the deadly attack on Israel, the United Nations Secretary General called on countries not to suspend funding for the agency, which provides humanitarian aid and other services to more than two million people in Gaza. Even if UNRWA, the agency mandated to serve them, would disappear, the refugees would still be human beings with inalienable rights. Stephanie Sandoval, Scripps News.